welcome to the Astro Imaging Journey channel. Please enjoy the episode. Ooh, and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And in this episode, we're going to start working with the color images, the uh, natural color and the Hubble, as I call them. Let me get those over here. And we already did the luminance. So now we just need to get the color ready to apply the luminance to. So everything we are going to do here, we're going to do uh, times two. Because uh, I want to see how they're going to compare to each other. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little ABE. And there we go. And defaults should work. Subtraction, disregard. We're just going to go ahead and create another little process icon. Oh, and three. Now, let me move this out of the way. You'll see I've got a little space here. I'll probably come back and rename these with L underscore so that I know that they're all luminance based. And then this will be RGB. We'll just pop that right there. And we're just going to apply this to both of these images. All right, the natural is complete. And clean it up pretty well. So we'll minimize that one. And let's do the Hubble. All right, the Hubble is complete. And I think the natural looked a little bit better, but that's okay. Let's minimize the Hubble. Get this guy over here. So now we need to do a little background neutralization. Let's get zoomed in here. Just do a little black point. Uh, no, I don't like where that's at. Let's put it right up in here. a little bit better one all right let's do the same over here Okay, so we got our preview, so now let's do a little background neutralization. We're going to do preview one. We're working on natural. And let's see, what are we at here? Trying to remember where that little display is. All right, so what are we looking at here? So point one, yeah, point two, point upper limit. I want to do about a Point zero one seven. Go over to a preview. Just looking at the values. Uh, 
All right. Change this to a zero one seven. And let's apply. And made it a little darker. Okay. Now we'll do the same over here. See zero one eight. Change that. We'll apply it to this one. So let's create our process icon. And now we're going to do a little color calibration. But first we need to do a reference preview. So we need a white area or super bright. So we'll do the center of the galaxy here. Our white reference will work with Hubble first. Preview two. Background reference will be preview one. And let's see here. Let's use the defaults and see what we get. Let's move that out of the way. All right. Let's move this one over here. Natural two, natural one, and let's apply that. All right, we'll leave that right where it's at. Next up, we're going to do just a little SCNR to get some of that green cast out of both of these. Let's do, oh, well, first, before I forget. Now we can go do our SCNR. Take a little bit out of that. Don't 
want to take it all out though. Let's see what this one looks like. And if I look at the histogram, what do I see? Maybe, yeah, I think I took out enough. And let's do it on this one over here. That ah, looks better. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and create this process icon. Now we need to do a little, <clears throat> now we need to do a little TGV denoise. And we will need to do a mask. So first, let me get rid of these previews. Just like before, we're going to do a range selection. Do it on the natural first. And let's see, smoothness. Let's take that out. So let's make this a zero nine. Catching some of the noise. We'll take it back to no, take to a nine five. Now we'll just take it back to a point oh one. I think that will work for now. Caught some of the noise. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it like it is. Put you down there. And on the hubble. Had to change it just a little bit. So let's go to there. And we'll put you down here for now. Let's create our process icon. So you let shun. Probably could have extracted the luminance and done it that way. Might have been a little bit better, but that's okay. And we had range. Oh, I, I called that one range selection too, and that one range mask, even though it's the same thing. Okay. So we'll just call that one a four. And we can close that. Now we're going to apply this. And this one will get over here. I'm not going to use local support. 
And I need to invert the mask. And let's see what it does. All right, let's see what we ended up with before, after. Yeah, I seem to bring it out a little bit. Let's see what it did to the noise. Yee, I don't like what that did there. I just kind of highlighted it. That's okay. Because we are going to be doing the multi scale. Don't like this worming effect, but that's okay. That's probably due to the masking. So before I do anything, let's go back. Let's. Remove the mask from both of these. You can see the noise in there. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extract the luminance. I'm going to do an arc sign stretch. Come on, there we are. Let's preview it. That should take care of most of that. And let's. All right, that'll probably work. Let's apply it to there. Now let's do a range mask. Probably could have used some fuzziness as well. Or smoothness rather. But we'll leave that right there. Let's let's see what that does for us. Let's minimize that. Let's apply this to there. Move these out of the way. Show the mask, let's invert it. Now let's do TGV denoise and see what happens. All right, that is complete. So let's do a before and after. Not seeing too much of a difference. Let's look up in here. All right. Yep, I can live with that. So we'll leave these applied. And let's go ahead and do something similar. Let's extract the luminance. Arc sign stretch. I'm not going to create the little process icons. That's, oh. Come on. There we go. Let's bring that down a little bit. And let's 
Yeah, we'll leave that right there. We'll apply that. Now we'll bring back our range mask, or range selection rather. Yeah, that works. So we'll apply that. Minimize that one. Apply this as a mask. Make sure we get it on the gray bar. And let's make sure we, yep, we need to invert it. And let's apply it to that image. And we'll be back when this completes. All right, that's complete. So let's see what that did for us. Let's do a before. And an after. That works. So let's go ahead and add that one. And we have that one already, so we need to make that a two. And we're going to leave the mask applied and we're going to multi-scale medium transform. We still have the same values that we had before. So we will just go ahead and yeah. We'll go ahead and apply it to the natural first. All right, that's complete and that definitely smoothed it out. So let's do a, let's do a before and after. Definitely smoothed it out, so that's good. So we'll do the same thing with our Hubble palette. All right. I definitely smooth that out. Let's do it back. Yep, definitely smooth that out. So let's go ahead and create our process icon. running out of real estate, so I'm going to have to move these back up a little bit. And I could work on shrinking the stars, but I think I'm going to leave it like it is. I want to remove the masks. So now let's stretch these out. Now I want to use morphological transformation, I think. Nope, that's for shrinking the stars. Histogram transformation. That will be E natural, yes. Zoom that back out. Let's bring this over. Actually, reset it. Need to do a preview. Let's unstretch. And 
clipping data, which I don't want to do. So that doesn't clip any of those. Let's bring this over. And I think. I'll leave that right where it's at because. As soon as I come anywhere, I'm clipping some data. Which I don't want to do too much of. And let's go ahead and apply that to the natural. Now let's do the Hubble. Reset everything. And stretch it. See if I, yep. And we'll bring it over a little bit. And let's get the black point over. Okay, that should be good there. Let's bring you over some more. And then we'll leave you right in there. We'll apply. Let's reset and all right, got that created. We can close that out. So now we're going to work on combining, which I'm going to put that into another video because uh, we're going to have some little tweaks to use. So right now we've got our color images ready to be combined. So we're going to end this video here. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, hope this was informative and uh, please, I hope everybody is staying safe and doing their part in everything that's going on right now. So, as always, clear skies and have a good one. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching yet another video from the Astro Mention Junior Channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video we've uploaded. In our lower right, we have what YouTube might think you would enjoy and in the lower left is our subscription button please like this video subscribe if you so choose as always clear skies have a good one and remember duke